Dogs, my name is Hector, and this is my dog Dan. Hey guys, and we're going to be taking a look at some UFC 158 predictions. And first, we'll do uh, bantamweights George Root versus Ruben Duran. Now, let's talk a little bit about George Root first. George Root is six foot one, and he's going to be fighting at 135 pounds. <laughs> Now, I was uh, listening to an interview of him re recently, and he's saying that, uh, you know, naturally he's a thin guy, a skinny guy, so he doesn't, he's tried packing on muscle. It doesn't really work for him. And so he feels comfortable at 135 pounds. Um, and, you know, he's a tough guy. He's fought a bunch of different guys. He's fought, he's fought just about everybody, you know, cups once. And win or lose, I mean, his record isn't really that impressive. But um, I think that's part of uh, due to the fact that he will fight anybody. So he's like 12 and 9, you know, just, you know, he's fighting everybody. But he's going up against Ruben Duran, who, uh, you know, in his last fight, he didn't look too impressive. You know, he, he actually uh, went out there uh, after about a year and a half of a layoff. And, uh, I mean, he, the guy he fought, uh, Viana Hugo, I mean, this guy just came out there, you know, with George, with, uh, with uh, Junior Dos Santos' uh, uh, boxing coach, Luis Doria, in his corner. He comes out there and knocks out Ruben Duran. So not, not only did he have the, the long layoff, but he had a really, really tough opponent. Now, Ruben Duran is, is very well-rounded. He's been training down here in Chula Vista, here in San Diego. And, uh, you know, for this particular fight, the more I take a look at it and the more I'm taking a look at some of these fights, um, you know, I really, have to, I really have to go with the uh, more compact. You know, Ruben Duran's about five foot six. He's a, he's a big 135 uh, bantamweight. So I'm going to go, I'm going to say that, uh, you know, in this particular case, George Roop is not going to not gonna be able to uh, to absorb the punches of a guy like Ruben Duran. So I'm going to go with Ruben Duran by knockout. It's going to be three stars uh, as far as the confidence goes. Now, I capped it at about um, minus 185. So around minus 185 would be a fair, a fair assessment there. And I have it for a straight bet. So uh, not not a parlay or anything crazy, just a straight bet. Uh, but I'm really I'm really curious to see what my dog has to say about this fight. So dog, what do you got for us? Yeah, dog, this fight was actually kind of hard for me to uh, to pick originally until I started looking into it a little bit further and and really crunching the numbers. And yeah, you know, Ruben Duran, if it wasn't for that for that big layoff before his last fight, he has a pretty good record. The problem yeah. is. The problem with him is he's lost two of his last three fights by decision. And, you know, but the problem with George Roop is that his only win in his last four fights is against Josh Grisby, who's now on like a four or five fight losing streak, I think. And so I really feel like like either guy could win this win this one, especially since, you know, George Roop uh, he, you know, he lost split decision to Hatsu Hiyoki. In my opinion, I think he won that fight. And he lost to uh, Cub Swanson at the beginning of what is now a four-fight win streak. And, you know, Cub Swanson uh, has proved, you know, he's the real deal. George Roop was only the beginning. And uh, he's continued to show how good he is. So he's lost to two really close guys. And then to show that, to even go back to the WEC in his last one in the WEC, he knocked out the Korean zombie with a head kick. And, and that was a knockout, dog. That was a... That was an absolute yeah. knockout. So, you know, but Ruben Duran before his last fight had uh, had only been submitted in his very first fight and had never uh, been knocked out. So I could see either guy winning here. And I'm going to say do not bet, but I'm going to say as a pick, I'm going to say Ruben Duran's going to win this fight either by knockout early or submission early or late. I don't think this fight's going to go the distance, but... In my opinion, I feel like George Roop has faced better competition. And yeah, he's lost, but I still feel like he might win. So I'm going to say Ruben Dram will win this fight, but it's a do not bet. And um, yeah, that's it. There you have it, folks. Unanimous for Ruben Duran. Now my dog is going to play conservatively and say it's a big old do not bet. I'll I'm take gonna roll the, the dice. dice. The odds are good enough. I'm gonna roll the dice like Great Maynard, one life. What what, what is that? What is that thing? The uh, dog? What a uh, one life roll dice. Yeah, one life roll dice. I always thought it was like two uh, like two doves. I always thought, what is the guy got two doves tattooed <laughs> on his chest? 
And then roll the dice. One life, roll the dice. So I'm going to say straight bet, you know, nothing crazy, not nothing uh, too wild here, no parlays, but uh, just a straight bet on Ruben Duran. Uh, of course, with the odds being fair, you know, I never, I never like a, a, an unfair odd or something ridiculous, but the odds being fair. And before we go, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, you'll simply uh, be able to follow our predictions and follow our picks instead of having to search for it every single time. So go ahead and do that, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.